During the last week, Sony released the long-awaited firmware update for the A7S III and this update makes the camera feel almost brand new, so let's check it out! Welcome in the studio guys, I am Flash and I have already spent a few days with the firmware version 3.0 on my Sony A7S III, so let's check out the new features and let me tell you how you can install it on your own camera. This update will make your A7S III feel like it got a facelift, you know how they make facelift versions of cars? This here is the same thing, the menu is different, the main screen is different on the camera, but we'll talk about it a bit later. First things that come after this update are the creator's app compatibility and another thing that uh, gives me a clue that Sony might provide other firmware updates in the future for the Sony A7S III is that they made the Sony A7S III updatable by SD cards like the A7 IV and the newer cameras from Sony, which is really nice. Another thing that will make your Sony A7S III feel brand new is that you will need to set everything up again like the day you unboxed the camera because the camera will reset to the factory defaults after the update. The swipe menu is a new thing right here and it is very similar to the newer Sony models and also there's not only the swipe menu but it is also the clickable options right here on the bottom of the screen which will allow you to change settings quicker. Sorry for my neighbors. Another new thing is in the menu which should be right here under the favorites and this is the quick menu which will allow you to change settings very quickly and also see everything listed right here and if you got some setting wrong it is easier to see it right here than maybe on the main screen where everything is small. So this is a really nice addition to the A7S III and uh, very welcome in my opinion. A new feature for the A7S III is the breathing compensation which now is available in the lens compensation menu. Depending on the lens it uh, might allow you to activate it or deactivate it. So right now it is grayed out but with uh, some uh, lenses and uh, in some video modes it will not be available like in the SNQ where I have set my camera right now, but let me change it and let me see, now it is available to choose either if you want it on on or off for your uh, shooting style. And another feature that was missing from the A7S III is the anti-dust function which closes the shutter when you close the camera and this allows you to change lenses uh, in a way that uh, you will not get dust on your sensor but please be careful with this function because if you have a lens attached without a lens cap and you leave your camera in bright light it might damage permanently your shutter and the repair is not inexpensive trust me i saw a lot of people on reddit and on forums which got this issue because they left their cameras in the sun and the light melted their shutter. I usually keep this option on off because I might forget about uh, my lens cap and I want to be safe. But anyway, always use your lens cap. And the very demanded feature for the A7S III is the DCI 4K option for filming in 4K, Cinema 4K and True 24 and this update will bring you this feature but it is uh, not that easy it doesn't come along with the 3.0 firmware update you need to do one more step and we'll talk about it later this doesn't bring only the true 24p frame rate but also the option for the 1 over 48 shutter speed let me select it right here 1 over 48 boom this now should bring you the option to film in a truly cinematic frame rate and talking about cinematic stuff they also included some timecode functions which will be available when connecting 
an external accessory to the a7s3 so now let's talk about updating the a7s3 to the 3.0 version after downloading the firmware update package from sony's website you need to do two updates first you need to update to an unreleased version by sony and after that you will be able to update to 3.0 both updates can be made only by using a computer and they are available for mac and for windows i have chose to use my windows machine when it comes to updating the a7 s3 because windows has less security and there are less steps to make when updating the camera but sony provides on their website a very good step-by-step -step guide for either platform so after downloading the update there will be two firmware installers in the archive 2.15 and 3.0 and the updating process is really simple you just need to close any other apps that are running on the pc or on mac which might interfere with the update then open the 2.15 updater app connect your camera by usb-c and also make sure to have a fully charged battery inside then click next 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 and the hardest thing right here is to wait because the update takes a very long time and you need to do it twice after that long wait you just need to repeat and install the 3.0 version from the 3.0 firmware installer as i said earlier after that the camera will reset to its factory default so make sure to have a good half an hour to remake all your settings oh yeah and before that it will ask you to pair your camera with the creators app it will pop up on the screen so the updating process is done but you don't have the dci 4k functions the true 24p frame rate and so on and this is because you need to install another thing and this will be a license this license can be installed for free from the creators app and it might be a little bit tricky if the sony's servers are down like i have experienced but if this uh, is not happening to you it should uh, be a pretty smooth process you will find the licenses under the licenses tab and you will uh, download it by just tapping your uh, screen a few times and then your camera will be ready and will have the new dci 4k features on it and the update is done but we miss one thing and the thing that is the most important for the guys that are shooting video with their cameras and this is the shutter angle sony didn't bring the shutter angle to the a7s3 and i don't know why it is so hard to make an option to have shutter angle instead of shutter speed in the settings but who knows what sony is keeping for uh, the future updates anyway congrats you have almost a brand new sony a7s3 to play with and you might want to check out these six full frame lenses for sony e-mount to pair with your sony a7s3 call me a call.